you are welcome to this class so in this video we want to look at corrections to LCM uh, part 2 so the first question asks us to find the LCM of 45 54 and 180 so to do that so we can have it you can make use of any methods that we have taught you so let's make use of this we have 45 we have 54 we have 180 so uh two let's start with two the smallest number there so two can I go in 45 will repeat 45 that is two can go in the 45 that's two and 14 that is seven this is uh, 90 so you can see going 90 so let's use two again so this is 45 we repeat 27 and 90 that's 45 so two cannot go again let's go to three three can go in 45 can also go in 27 so three and 45 that is 15 three here that is nine 15 three can still go three here that is five three five three can still go five sorry one five five can go now so one 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 until you get to one that's when you stop but unlike acf so you must make sure that you use the number that can divide them to divide. Exactly. So that means our LCM will then be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, right? In three places times 3 times 5. So that is 4 times 27 times 5. So let's do it separately. 27 times 4. This is 28. 8 that is 10 times 5 so this is uh, 40 you carry 4 that is 4 then 540 so this answer is uh, 540 all right so uh, the next one is uh, find the product of the lcm and the ecf of 18 32 and 48 but as we are going to find the ecf also find the lcm so we're going to start with ACF first using the same method that we have here so uh, we have 18, 32, 48. So two can go. So we start with the, that is nine. Uh, this is 16, all right? And this is 24. Do we have any number that can go again? No. So that means the ACF is two. The ACF is what is two. So let's go. Uh, three, let's use three. Two, we can use two again. That is 9, uh, this is 8, and this is 12. Two can still go 9, 4, and there's 6. Two can still go. So that is 9, 2, and 3. 3 can go now. Two can still go, sorry. So that is 9, 1, 3. So we can then use 3 now. We can use 3 to do it now. So 3, 3, 1, 1. Then 3, 1. So that is that. So we have three in two places and two in how many places? Two times two times two, eight times two, 16, 16 times two, 32. That is 32 times nine, three times three. So nine times two is 18, we carry one. Nine times three is 27, that is 28. So let's now multiply by two right now. So two times uh, eight, that is 16, we carry one, all right? 2 times 8, that is 16, that is 17, then 5, 76. So this becomes the answer, all right? So that is that on that one. So, okay, question 3. No. So question 3, where is the negative difference? What is the negative difference? Sorry for this, this type over there. So what is the negative difference between the LCM and the ACF of this? So negative difference, that is you're going to subtract the bigger number from the smaller number, that's what it means. So the first thing is we find the LCM and the, the ACF. So we have the numbers 27 and the 36. We start with S, S, LC, ACF first. So the number that can go here is 3. So 3 here 9, 3 here 12, 3 can still go. So that is 3, 4. So we can then move ahead. So this is the ACF here. So ACF 
is equal to six, is equal to nine, sorry. So we can go three, can go one, four, four, one, one. So that means nine times 12, nine times 12. So that is nine. That is 108. So LCM is 108. So negative difference between the two. That means we're saying 9 minus 108. So which will give us minus 99. So which is this? Minus 99. I hope that is very clear. Okay, so that is that on this one. Question 4. A number is a multiple of another number. If the other number is a factor of the of the number. So let's look at it. So if you have uh, a number is a multiple of another number. If the other number is a factor of the number. So let's say the number is uh, 12. All right. Now, a number will now be multiple of this number. And that is what? 3. So if the other number, that's this 3, is a factor of this number. So it's 3 a factor of this number. So which is yes. So the answer is correct. So because we have two, uh, 3 times 4, the multiple is 12. So this 12 is a multiple of 3. And this 3 is a factor of 12. Do you understand? The 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4. And 3 are multiples of are factors of 12. So that's why it's a, a number is a multiple of another number if the other number Hmm? is a factor of the number. So that is just it. It's true. So we go to question 5. Is 7 a multiple of 21? Is 7 a multiple of 21? The answer is no. 7 is a factor of 21. Why 21 is a multiple of 7? So 7 can divide 21, which is a factor. But 21 is a multiple of 7. But 7 times 3 gives us 21. So in this case, 21 is a multiple of 7 and multiple of 3. Why 7 is a factor of what? 21. I hope I'm making sense. So that is it. So the answer is no. So that is that uh, uh, this uh, correction. So we're going to meet in our next class. So bye for now.